to the encouragement seat and we have Master Baker, <laughs> Patrick Kelly. Yes, this is family and he is making his famous strawberry cheesecake, y'all. If y'all have, oh, shortcake, I'm sorry. If y'all have not tried his shortcake, you're gonna have this $40, that's how good it is. So, <laughs> so we're gonna get started and the ingredients to make the shortcake is Patrick. So we're going to make the cream first, which is going to be um, consist of whipped cream, uh, cream cheese, and sweetened condensed milk. Okay. All right. So what we're going to start with is uh, we're going to put in our mixer. Sorry. No, you come back over here. Oh, okay. Let's get <laughs> I'm in training. So we're going to put in our mixer um, the cream cheese. All right. If you want to help me unravel that, yes. so we got two eight ounces of cream cheese. All right, and we're gonna open this and dump that in there. Oh my God. All right. Go ahead and just dump it on in there. Yep, dump that on in there. All right, awesome. So next, what we're going to do is, I'll take that, we're going to empty out this sweetened condensed milk here. Okay. Just open that. Awesome. So just, just dump, dump that it? in there. Yeah, it's pretty it's so, thick. Yeah. Yeah, it was kind of chill. Usually you want this room temperature, it'll be a little bit better. Okay. So, but we got to like, a rubber spatula here. We're gonna just scrape out the contents of this can here. All right. And what we're gonna do? We're gonna mix these uh -huh. two in together. Okay. All right. All right. Awesome. So if you want to take that. Okay. So we're gonna turn this on, on low speed first. They're gonna kind of mix this in. I like this. Where do you get this from? <laughs> well, I got that from Bed Kitchen. Bath oh, Bed Bath Beyond. Okay. All right. So we're gonna use this again. All right, as you see, it's starting to combine. It's gonna thicken. So how often do you, you get a creamy, creamy? Yes, so we want this to mix until smooth. So we don't want no lumps in the, um, the mixture here. Once it's smooth, all right. So that's pretty good. It looks like it's no lumps in there now. Okay. So we that's are done. Sure? Mm -hmm. Yep, so now we're just going to scrape off the paddle here. And we are done with this portion of it. And what we want to do now is get the uh, whipped cream. Is the cool one both? Yes. Okay. All right. So we'll just go ahead and open that. So, Johanna, thank you, girl. All right. So we're going to fold in the whipped cream, and the reason why we want to fold it in, it will keep a nice fluffy consistency. Okay. So if we want to open that, put this over here. So this keep by adding this, it keeps it. So this is gonna it's gonna lighten um, lighten this mixture here, so it gives it more of a creamy such uh, like a creamy uh, consistency here. Okay. So let's start combining that in. So that's good here. So, um, so we want to fold this in first, and then we'll add more. More, okay. As needed. So, as you folding, you just want to make sure you go to the bottom and bring mm -hmm. that up to okay. fold it in. All right. So, overpower it? I mean, no, it doesn't mean okay. Yeah, uh, it's, it's definitely not. Actually, 
um, when you can actually use this mixture for different things. Mm -hmm. um, you can make ice cream, you can... Really? Oh yeah, oh yeah, you can definitely do that. Um, you can use it for um, different pies. If you want to do like a whip pie, you can definitely do wow. that. Put some fruit in it. Oh, okay. Um, put some yogurt in there. Um, put it in a graham cracker crust. Um, and what? you can definitely make a pie with that. Um, you can definitely do some, um, this is uh, some ingredients that you can actually do a no-bake cheesecake with too as well. Stop. Mm -hmm. oh, see, yeah. I'm not, see, that's why I say he's a master baker <laughs> because I didn't know all of this stuff. I don't oh, yeah. bake like that, but wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we want to put some more whipped cream in here. And as you see, it's getting yeah, more it like looks fluffy, fluffy, more yeah. like a cream. All right, so add some more in here. All right. All right, so we're done with that. Put that to the side. Let me tell you something. He's all in one, too. Let me tell you something. Everyone that comes <laughs> on this encouragement seat, they do it all. He's a musician. He plays the, the keys. He teaches. He's um, He works with the voices. He works with choirs. Let me tell you something. I got it all in one right here. You hear me? <laughs> So, ladies, All if you're looking right. for, <laughs> he bakes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this looks like it's gonna be good uh, to start with. So, because we don't need too much cream here. Okay. All right, so we'll put both of these to the side. Okay. All right, so we're good with this. All right, so let's work on the strawberries. So we have pre-cut strawberries um, in the refrigerator. refrigerator. So, oh, this looks here. good. Do you need this on top? No, no, no. Okay. All right. So look at these strawberries. Can we get, can we get a close up on the strawberries? So I, these are pre-cut strawberries that I did this morning. Um, I put some sugar on there that extract the uh, moisture out of the strawberries, create the juices there. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna drain some of the juices here because we're gonna put a, uh, a glaze on it. All right, mm. so let me just drain this off. Um, one second, drain some of this out. Awesome. All right, so now that we have some of that drain, so we have some um, store made uh, glaze here, but you can actually make your own glaze. It's pretty simple. Um, you can use gelatin or you can use um, the juice from the strawberries um, and yeah. put some thickener in there. Uh, you can use uh, some cornstarch or you can actually um, use a, actually a thickening agent to mm. uh, make your own glaze. Okay. All right. So this. We're just going to pour this in here. If mm -hmm. you want to get a spoon. Need a big spoon. Here. No, I okay. here. So, all right. So we're gonna put this in here and we're just gonna mix this up in with the strawberries and then with the little bit of juices in there, it's actually going to loosen up this gelatin here. Wow. So this will actually work very good when layering the mm. strawberry here. So if you want to mix that up, yes. that would be great. All right. Awesome. While you're doing that, I will get cake. Oh, wow, look at so that. So we have a pound cake here that I made this morning. All right, it's already nicely cooled. And we're just gonna slice this up here on our pan. All right. One second. You want it to like thoroughly get through like the strawberries in between and- Yes. Okay. No side conversation. See, when my husband and this one get together. <laughs> All right. So we're going to take this out the pan here. Comes out pretty easy. Make sure you use some 
Baker's Joy mm -hmm. and spray your pan really good. Mm -hmm. All right. So we're going to cut this into slices. So we don't want too thick of a slice. Um, it lesses. So we want a nice, um, maybe like an inch. So we're going to cut off this bottom piece here, or the end piece. All right. So we do like like an inch thick here. All right. So we're going to use this to layer everything in our parfait bowl. Wow, right. It's so moist. Oh yeah. So if you're not good at baking cakes, you can always use store bought um, loaves. Um, they have. Now, is it really the same? It's not the same. It's not the same. It's better homemade cakes, but if you're not really good at the baking, mm -hmm. that's just one way you can use as a substitute. All right. So we might not end up using all of them, so we'll probably have some straps. All right. So we're going to put this to the side. All right. So, it's now time to start layering our parfait. Oh, all right. So, we're going to create a base, which is going to be our cake. All right. So, if you I'll have them do the strawberries. All right, you guys. And then you can do the whipped cream okay. up here. And then I will do the cake. All right. So, we're going to start off with the bottom. So... Just layering the cake at the bottom mm -hmm. here. So it looks like I probably will have to cut some cake in half to help fit the bowl. Okay. All right. I'll put there on the side there. Let's cut that a little bit more. So that way it'll look kind of nice on the outside. Okay. There. And then if we want to put some strawberries okay, in. Okay, you guys, put the strawberries in there. All right. Oh, be oh. careful. Okay. Do, do they need a bigger uh, spoon? spoon? Yeah, let's see if we can get a bigger spoon. Hold on. Hold on, JK. Let's, let's get this is bigger good. spoons. Okay. All right, let's use this spoon here. Go ahead, JK. Come on. Be right. careful. Come on, come on. There you go. Awesome. All right. All right. So let's see. We're going to spread this out a little bit. And let's put a little bit more in there. All right. So we want to get it all around. So especially on the sides, so you can see it on the side. All right. All right, so let's put a little bit more in there. All right, so let's do the whipped cream here. Okay. So right. is every other? Yes, so we're doing the three. So it's going to be whipped cream, it's going to be cake, strawberries, and whipped cream, but just go keep doing that layer. So do you spread it or what? what? So we'll, usually okay, you put a, a nice lump in there and kind of spread it out. Right, I and make more? sure, yeah, put some more in there. Yeah, put a nice heaping in there. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. Guys, this looks so, it smells so good. I'm telling you, when he bakes this for us, it don't last but a couple of hours. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna put a little bit more in there. More? Okay. Yeah. You want it to go all the way yep. around. Yeah. And put some more right there on the side. Okay. Mm hmm Yeah, and over here too. Because you definitely want to see that on the edge to see each layer. Okay. All right. That's good right there. Right there. All right. So let's do another layer. 
Should I smooth start? I gotta make it no, smooth. It's, it's fine. They're not gonna, because you won't be able to see the middle, but okay. it's all about the edges. Okay. All right. When it comes to parfaits, to see what's in the par, uh, actual parfait. All right. And then we're gonna take some of these scraps here. So let's put them on the edge okay. there. So that way you can see there's cake there. All right. So let's put some more. All right, Mita. You want to, you want to come spray it? Look, see, this is the issue with having so many girls. They All right. Are apart. <laughs> All right, so let's put some in the bowl. Go ahead. Okay. And you want to spray that around, Patrick? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So let's spread this around. So it looks like we'll have uh, maybe like a half a layer left mm -hmm. to do maybe because we're getting pretty close to the top here. All right. So let's put some whipped cream in there. Okay. That looks good. Oh, yeah. I'm saying I'm not. Oh, yeah. You got another oh. layer. <laughs> oh, okay. Let, let me see. <laughs> what did I do? <laughs> You're making the best. <laughs> I'm trying to get off. I told you I'm trying to bake. <laughs> All right. So, yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, I'm going to put a nice lump sum in there and then spread that out. All right. So, definitely want to hit them edges. Mm hmm. All right, spread that in there. All right, so let's see if we can fit another layer. Okay. All right. Uh, One second. It's going to be a tight squeeze there, but we can do it. Okay. What you need us to do? since we already at the, at top. the top. Okay. So just put a little bit there on the side here. Wow. Mom? Mm hmm How are we supposed to um like eat the cake if the cake is in the bowl? With a spoon. Are we just gonna take the like the bread out or something? No. Okay, that's gonna be a little bit. Better. Let's mix this a little bit. All right. Look at that. Pull this in here. Mom, that's a big of a size. Even if you're at the top. All right. So we're gonna pull this around here. All right. So here we don't have to go to the edge because we at the top of the bow. Mm -hmm. So we can do more of like a dollop look. Okay. Well, Will you add one. more um, strawberries at the top? We can. Okay. Um, if you want. Yes, because that will look so pretty. <laughs> and <laughs> it tastes so good. All right. There you go. Look at this, y'all. <laughs> there you have it. Yeah. <laughs>
um, cause it's going to be uh, layers on top of it. So that's going to, it's good to start with this. Um, so what we're going to do first, we're going to pop this out. All right. Mm. And that way we can slice, um, the top of it off. So we're going to take this portion off and discard it because we don't need that portion there. Oh, wow. So we want this to be flat. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. So wow. that's, you can okay. use that to nibble on or yes. just trash it if you want. No, we're going to nibble on this. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we're going to put this back on. Like so. All right. Awesome. So now that we got that, let me clean up a little bit. So we need to um, put some holes in here. Okay. Um, so if you want to start that, I'll clean up a little bit here. But it looks like it's already holes in it. No, we need some deeper holes. So. So you want me to go down? Also, oh, yeah. Go down. So we are going to put some um, pineapple, crushed pineapples, on top of there. Ooh. So we want some of the juices, uh, some of the liquids from that to soak into the cake, and by um, putting more holes in there, um, we want some of the pineapples to go down there as well. Okay. Awesome. Oh, wow. All right. Okay. So now we're going to um, strain some of the juice out of the pineapples because we don't want it to be um, too moist. Mm -hmm. All right. So we got some crushed pineapples here. All right. So we're going to take some of this out. Juices here. So actually, we're not gonna use all this pineapples here. We're not. No, that's gonna be too too much pineapples. All right, so take that. You think that's good? Do I need to go around the cake yeah, that some be more? Good enough. Okay. Yeah, that should be good enough. There. Okay. All right. <laughs> all right. So now we're gonna take some of this pineapple, crushed pineapples, and we're gonna put it on top of the cake here. Mm -hmm. Let's spread that around. Let's see. Now, do you have glaze or something that you're going to put on the cake? Or? So, no. Actually, um, we're going to put some of this juice back on there. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Oh, we just didn't want so it's going to soak up the... Yes. Okay, okay. So, we're going to have this here. Um, right. So, once we get it on here, we're going to put a little bit of the juice on here. We don't want a lot on there. Um, so, it would have... Um, some more of the flavor of the pineapple inside the, the cake. Mm -hmm. All right. This is good here. And then after this, let's, um, before we do the other two sides, um, so the top, uh, well, the last thing we're going to put on the cake is going to be some toasted coconut. Mm. All right. Oh yes. So um, what we're gonna do? Let's do the toast toasting of the coconut. So if you want to get the sheet pan behind us, we're gonna put this to the side, and let's get the coconut too as well. If you want a coconut, coconut. bag? We'll finish this Ooh, up here. Coconuts, and you can get yes. these from out of. Yeah, you, yeah. Okay. any of the grocery stores um, will sell um, the shredded coconut. Shredded coconut. Yes. Oh, so, mm -hmm. okay. They flake. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. So, we are uh, going to take uh, some of that. We don't need a lot of it. So, okay. um, just take some of that. Can you get it? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, you're not going to use the whole thing? No, right? we're not going to use just, This okay. is only just a topping. All right. So, oh. let's sprinkle some on the... Um, pan there and we're going to put that in the boiler and yeah, we're just going to uh, I mean, uh, just more? a little bit more okay. a little bit more yeah that should be good okay so um let's spread that out a little bit all right like all right yeah nice. that's good right like there that? yeah okay. so that way it will kind of toast a little bit quick Okay. All right, so we're gonna put that in. The we're gonna put this in here. the oven. Uh, oh, yeah. okay. So we're gonna put this in the broiler. So we're not gonna leave it in there too, too long. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Just like uh, I didn't even know that was that was that was what yeah. that was for. Yeah. Are you serious? <laughs> All this time I thought it was just heating up the. <laughs> no, that's your broiler. <laughs> I do cook, y'all. Don't get me wrong. I just didn't know what that was for. What? All right. Yeah, that's your broiler. Um, so we're gonna put some of this juice here and the cake mm. here. You see how it soaks yes. up a little bit. And this is why you want to drain out the juice because mm -hmm. you don't want a ton of it to be on there. Yeah. All right. So that's pretty good there. All right. So the next layer, uh, we're going to use the, uh, we're going to use. You cannot. You know what? <laughs> we're going to use the pudding there next. If you want to get the pudding. Oh, right there. so that's why you did the pudding. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you something, y'all. If y'all don't help him open up his store, what's your cash app, Patrick? <laughs> <He's so silly. laughs> All right. So um, the coconut is pretty toasted here. Okay. So we're gonna mix this up. Okay. Just let it cool off for a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll come back to that. Okay. All right. So now let's um, do the pudding here. All right. I'm gonna come back here. So with the pudding, mm -hmm. what? So this is just another layer, another flavor mm. of the cake here. So we're not gonna use all this pudding. Okay. Say. So, uh, so this we're just gonna layer this on top here. Now this yeah. is actually this will be my first time trying this because I've mm -hmm. never because I was so stuck on the shortcake. Mm -hmm. But so you have the coconut, then you have the pudding, pudding. and then you have the, the whipped cream. So you know there's. What? Many different ways to make this um, BTS cake. Um, it don't have to be a pound cake, or mm -hmm. it, it can be chocolate cake. You can have, um, you can substitute different layers. Mm -hmm. You don't have to use pineapples. You okay. don't have to use puddings. You can use a custard if you want. To, if you don't want to do a pudding, or um, there's different things to alternate um, depending on what you're liking. It. Okay. Okay. So. We're gonna spread this out a little bit. So this is why uh, the spring form pan is pretty good for this. So if you wanna to go to the edge, you can definitely go to the edge. So mm -hmm. when it comes out, yeah. you know, it's gonna look really, really good, okay? So does this go back in the oven? No, no, no. Okay. this is done. The That's only thing that. you need to bake was the cake and the- The coconut. Toast the coconut. Toast the coconut. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, so. We got that going on here. And you guys, this is good because so it's around the holiday stuff. season. These are the types of things that you can bake for mm -hmm. Christmas, mm -hmm. Thanksgiving, you, you know. Oh yeah. Th these are good if you want to try cakes something for new. The yeah. And stuff like that. You know, you, you can definitely try these. Um, it's really simple to do. Um, all right, so we're done with that. So let's take the whipped cream here. Alright, so this is going to be the second to the last layer that we're going to do here. Mm. Alright. Alright. I'm going to spread this out here. Alright. Let me tell you something. I've been learning something since this encouragement seat has started, <laughs> honey. Alright, so after spreading this out. We're gonna do that last. If you want to get a another bowl, so we can mix a small bowl. Yeah, a small bowl would be good. All right. All right. So we're about done with this. Wow. All right. So, you know, a lot of people love whipped cream because you can mm -hmm. put it on almost any kind of dessert. Yeah. Um, and it's uh, really good um, and light and airy. Um, yes. Yeah, especially um, when you want to It doesn't make, seem like it's heavy and no, sits on your stomach. No. You know what I'm saying? So. Especially, you know, you can actually use this for um, 
cake too like when you're frosting a cake yes um, it's oh definitely, okay yeah it's better to make it from scratch when you're frosting a cake mm -hmm. so you can um, control the thickness of it yes all right so we're done with this all right put that to the side so now let's take the here all right let's cool down some so mm -hmm. we're going to mix this up in here Mm. All right, which is going to go on our top here. All right. All right. So we done with that. I Mix cannot that wait. There. So let's take this out. Actually, he got his energy back. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to take our cake stand there. Oh my goodness. Right. Let me take this out. He brought all the good Tupperware. <laughs> all right. Ooh. All right. So we're going to take that out, put this here. Sorry, I'm a little messy here. Patrick, look at that. All right. So let me clean up a little bit here. All right. So now we're going to finish it off with the toasted coconuts. Mix that up here. Now, would you spread that around? You or can. No? Okay, but I like the way it looks. <laughs> you can. You can spread it. We can add more whipped cream on the side, side. if you mm -hmm. want to cover that up. No. It's up to you. Um, this is more of, a, you know, yeah. a layer kind of thing going on. Then we're going to top it off with... Boy, you better get your own uh, <laughs> bacon shot. What? With the toasted coconuts here. Look at that. All right. So, once you do that. Patrick, that looks so good. So it gives a little crunch to it. Yes. With the toasted coconuts, and then you got the fruit in there. From the fruit on the inside. inside. You got the pudding and the, And I know the juice mm -hmm, seeps in. Into the so, cake. Oh my goodness. So it gives you that little pina colada kind of Yes. Going on. You better. I'm telling y'all. <laughs> oh All my right. goodness. So Merlin, you better look out. <laughs> <laughs> Merlin, you know you the best. You the bomb. Alright, so put this a little bit on here and there you go. Oh BTS my cake. God! This is the BTS cake, y'all. Yes, stands for be that safe. <laughs> <laughs> right. Thank you, Patrick, for coming on and showing us how to do a no strawberry problem. shortcake and the BTS cake. And I will put the ingredients um, of what he shared with us in the link, so you guys can know what to to go home and experiment and add your own flavor and taste in it. And try not to go out and buy the box. But to perfect it, we gotta we gotta practice. Practice. Keep you know, keep trying it, you know, and, and test out different things. Thank you, Patrick, for coming on and showing us. I'll let you know. I already know it's good, but you guys check them out. If you're in the area, y'all can inbox me. And I'll let you know. I'll, I'll pass on his. Alright, okay guys, thank you so much.